how to use one password hi guys welcome back today i'm going to be showing you how to use one password to store and use strong passwords and eliminate the hassle of saving your password in different spaces so let's get started First, what you have to do is you can go to onepassword.com and you will land on this platform right here. What is one password? One password is a platform that allows you to save your password in one place. You will be able to use one master password for your one password. And after that, you can save your social media, your Google accounts, your Apple account, your, your cloud password, anything, any software that you use. It's very hard to you to remember all of these different passwords, these difficult passwords that we actually create. So one password allows you to save save all of the password that you have created and it is also available as an extension so you don't need to go to one password every time it will show you a notification to save your password every time uh, let's get started with the signing up process because you need to sign up so you can click on try one password for free you can try it out for free and you can see this is our pricing plan right here so before we get into one password let's check out the pricing plan there is a best value for up to 10 users so if you are a family and if you are a team you can use one password to save your password for your website and for all of your platforms that everybody uses so it is going to be 19.95 dollars per month and then there is a business plan which is flexible to control your advanced business needs it is for $7.99 and then there is an enterprise which is going to be customized pricing with this pricing you will be getting unlimited shared walls two-factor authentication um, integrations and more so what I'm going to do is this is for team and business if you want to use it for personal and family then we have a personal if you're just one person and you want to use it for yourself you can go with $2.99 per user per month Month. and then there is one password for families which is 4.99 dollars per month so i am just one person so i'm going to go ahead and click on try it out for 14 days to get started all you have to do is enter your name and enter your password click on create account so i have signed into my one password and this is the dashboard uh, that you will be getting now what happens is you will also get a password emergency kit so make sure to download the pdf this is for if you lose your one password so you can use this key this is your accounts key right so just save the pdf now let's get started and create a new vault click on new vault right here and it will allow you to create a new vault let's create a vault for social media so i'm just going to type in the word social media then we can enter the description so i'm just going to quickly type in the description here after the description you can click on create vault all right so this is my vault social media now i can import data so importing data means that i can actually import my passwords i have already saved somewhere um maybe i have saved them in my google account or somewhere else so i can just you know use them i can view the vault and i can take more action in more action we have delete vault option so i'm going to click on view vault and it will open up uh, my vault for me my social media Media wall. So we have the vault right here. Now we have all items, favorites, and watchtower. So in here, I have all of my items, such as my accounts. So you will find this plus button right here. Click on it. And now you can see we have all of these different options. We have login. So this is where I can enter my login information, my login passwords. Then we have secure note, credit cards, identity, password, document, bank account, crypto wallet, database email account, medical record, membership, outdoor license, passport, reward program, server, software license, and wireless router. So I can not only save passwords for my accounts, I can actually enter my bank account information here, my database, my crypto wallet information, medical records, email accounts, and more. So for now, as I have created this world for social media, so I will be entering my social media password and login information right here click on password enter title so let's go ahead and enter the title for facebook now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna enter my password that i have on facebook so this is the password then i can enter the web address so i don't have to go to you know my facebook every time and 
come back to my a uh, one password to check what i can do is i can enter my profile web address right here and it will be more easier for me i can now add tags and add new sections as well but for now i'm just gonna click on save once i click on save you can see a new password will be created right here a facebook let's click on this plus button again and let's go with login and i'm gonna save my youtube channel logins right here so i'm gonna enter my username and password then again i can enter the web address i can also add new labels or i can add you know different labels such as url date month one-time password password and more so i'm gonna add a label of password uh, and notes so i can enter notes for myself or for my team or my family if i want to click on save a new login information will be saved and you can see we also are getting categories here as i am creating different items we have logins and passwords now click on add again let's go with email account and i'm gonna enter my email account right here there you go and in here we have username then i can enter the server port number so i don't need all of these different information you can uncheck this or if you want to add a new field you can just click on this button and it will allow you to add new fields right here such as date or maybe year so i can add more labels from as i want to and i can delete previous labels that are already created once you have entered all the information click on save and you will see a new email will be saved here and a new category will be created Similarly, I can create as many as I like. Again, we have all of these different options. It's really easy to save. Um, you just click the category from here and then you enter the information. You can give your vault whatever name you like. And this is my like social media one. I also have a personal one and I can in personal, I can save my bank account and more. So let's go to personal vault here. So the personal means that I will be able to check all of my information here in this vault and I can click on this plus button. And and add more uh, but i prefer creating different walls for different you know purposes so that you can organize your one password then we have the favorites right here you can add favorites if you want to uh, any account that you use more than others and then we have watchtower so watchtower means it will give me an overview if my password this is like kind of like our security guard right here and it will show me if my password is safe or if my password is weak or if it's terrible so you can see right here they're saying that my passwords that i just added are a little weak so i can make them stronger that's what they suggest and they also suggest the unsecured websites that i have or compromised websites or two-factor authentication is required or if there is any expiring website or well, it's like our security guard right here for us to help us get our passwords secure our bank account everything now we don't have to use the documents and we don't have to do a lot of paperwork to save our account passwords to save our medical records memberships outdoor license you can save everything in one password it has made your you know life easier and it will help you do everything digitally very easily and you will be able to save a lot of time so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know how to use one password don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel